all to the new session resource management module 2 in resource management module 2 first topic was manpower and second topic was machinery or we can consider equipment and third topic is materials third topic is materials in the first topic that is manpower we were discussed about about labors labor wages labor acts and labor productivity okay in this class preferably we are going to study about the machinery or construction equipments construction equipments again in construction equipment what are the classification of construction equipments and what is the factors affects on selection of construction sorry equipments in this class let us discuss about classification of construction equipment and selection of construction factors affects on selection of construction equipments okay now what is construction equipment first of all construction equipment is one of the most important resources in modern day of construction isn't it especially in infrastructure project we cannot imagine a construction project without any machinery because for every work start from the excavation that is huge excavation will be there that huge excavation cannot be done by manually okay that needs specifically certain equipments in this way construction equipments starts from the excavation itself okay such projects utilize equipments for most of works including earth moving operations aggregate productions concrete productions and its concrete placements okay in fact no one can think of any project the two major projects of construction activity without involvement of any equipment that is construction equipment okay in order to select the equipment for different activity we should be aware of what is the equipment we used to or we need to be used in this particular site what is the quantum of work here or what is the budget of the work whether this construction equipment is acceptable or not okay to know all these things we should aware of the features of the equipment and the maintenance and operational cost of the equipment if we know the these procedures or this information with us definitely we can select any one best equipment which is best suited for the project so now under classification of construction equipment we have number 1 earth moving equipments earth moving equipments 
earth moving equipments means what for any equipments which are related equipment means we can consider machinery any machinery which is related to the movement of earth it might be excavation it might be the excavated soil should be lifted up and that soil has to transport to the next stage or next site or next where the soil has to be dumped where which is not necessary for this time of work okay now for this excavation itself we need construction equipments right what are those equipments just for the name can we consider the excavator or the jcb or the dozer can we consider yes same kind of equipments will be there that we we'll learn uh, in coming to the next point okay so start from the excavation or cutting cutting of the earth we need the construction equipment once you cut the soil why do you need to cut the soil because you need to lay certain foundation to certain depth to achieve that depth for a huge project site by labor it is very time consuming so for to avoid that time consumption we are going to adopt some machinery to excavate that work okay once excavation is done what is the next step we need to lift it up right we need to lift that excavated soil or cutted soil to the where the soil has to be transported for that lifting also we need some equipments or machinery right once the soil has excavated or digged that excavated soil should be lifted once the soil is lifted again it has to be put it to the transportation vehicle that can be considered as tipper okay and what does that vehicle do vehicle will be carrying the soil or whatever you excavated material again it is going to dump somewhere once the soil is excavated what is the next immediate work we need to do before constructing once the soil is excavated we need to ram or we need to compact the soil correct to compact that again it is, is it possible humanly or laborious work yes it is possible but it is very much of time consuming to avoid that we are going to use some compact compacting equipments it might be a rollers it might be a vibrators okay under these equipments again there are a number of different types of equipments are there after the earth moving equipment the second point is concrete plant concrete plant equipment once the excavation is done and compaction is completed what is the next immediate work for any building we need to lay one level of pcc that is plain cement concrete bed right to lay that concrete bed if it is a small area of work obviously it is easy we can get it done from the labor itself suppose if it is a square kilometer of work then what to do if it is a infrastructure or road work is it possible yes it is possible but by considering the time we are going to use some ready mix concrete to get the ready mix concrete the concrete has to be prepared at certain site right and that particular location can be called as concrete plant where the concrete will be readily mixed and kept it ready okay from that plant again there will be so much of uh, machineries right what are those machineries you can observe which is coming on the screen and once you observe that machineries there are lot of machineries start from the storage of cement and storage of coarse aggregate storage of fine aggregate everything has to be carried from the conveyor belt to particular location where all the materials are mixing once that mixing is done again water will come in into the picture once water is added to the required amount then it will be mixed to the accurate quantity or ratio to get the required strength of the cement it might be m20 grade concrete or m25 grade concrete once everything is done again that will be placed to the 
concrete revolving vehicle because that vehicle has to reach to the site where the concrete is actually needed. Again that is a picture of concrete plant equipment where the equipments used at the concrete plant and the next one is material hoisting. material hoisting equipments what is the meaning of material hoisting equipment means again it is not uh, nothing but lifting or where exactly the material you want there the materials has to be shifted right suppose your ground work is completed or ground floor work is completed you need to shift the material to the first floor or you can consider some 5 floor work is completed you need to shift the materials to the 6th or 7th floor then how will you shift again if you want to shift from the laborer for each and every material it will be huge time consumption right to avoid that we will be erecting certain cranes certain cranes so that we can readily taste, stack some materials at the ground stage and take it to the next whichever the required floor and from that floor labor will get that to the required slab that is required area once that has done automatically material has reached to the certain required level then from that point labors can take the materials and okay suppose if you want to do concreting of some 10th floor or 11th floor what you will do again for that also there is a machinery called boom concreting machinery there will be some boom you can see that image on the boom concreting can be placed that hose will be placed wherever required area in that particular area if you do vibrating again vibrating is also a machinery okay and material hoisting after that the next point is heavy construction equipment heavy construction equipment where this heavy construction equipment will come into the picture just imagine tunnel construction tunnel construction or where the hills or stone hills are broken into number of pieces and getting the aggregate small small aggregates that is that can be considered as coarse aggregate there definitely we need some special equipments where you can drill to the certain extent to make a pathway or roadway to the other side of the hills. So just imagine the size of the equipment where we use that can be considered as heavy construction equipment. If you want to do a pile foundation, if you want to do a pile foundation again a huge equipment is needed to drill the earth right. So the drilling has to be happened to the certain level for that small machinery does not come into the picture. A huge heavy construction equipment that is also you can see on the picture which is present on the screen. Okay. And next is supporting or service equipment. What are these supporting equipment means? Supporting equipment means suppose water is filled at the side due to heavy rain for a footing where you are supposed to do concreting. That water without water you can pour the concrete. If water is there what you can do? You need to dewater it. You need to take that water outside. To take that water outside again a small motor will be fixed that can be considered as supporting equipment okay dewatering and sometimes power will not be there to get that power additionally we will be keeping some generators correct additional to substitute to the power when power cut problem arises we will keep some generators it might be diesel or it might be other mode so that generator is also considered as supporting equipment and at some construction site welding is needed for fabrication works that welding is also considered as supporting equipments. Okay. 
Now, if we move on to the next thing that is factors affects factors affects on selection of construction equipment factors affects on selection of construction equipment what are the factors we should consider to select any particular equipment very firstly we should think the volume of material to be removed at the site suppose you are going to construct a huge building in certain area in that area what is the depth of the foundation you need to dig suppose you are constructing some 10 floors of building what is the depth of the foundation you need to dig that will be depends on load criteria again at least some 20 feet at least you will dig that depends on the soil criteria just imagine if you want to dig for 20 feet depth over a period over area of 100 by 50 site what you will do is it possible from the man or laborer yes of course but it is a time consumption and it is very lengthy process to avoid that we will be going with the machinery so first point what we can consider is the quantum of work or the volume of work how much material used to be removed need to be removed okay and the second point what we can consider is disposal of the excavated material disposal of the excavated material once you dis uh, once the material is excavated you need to dispose it right because just imagine at that particular area there is no place there is no place to uh, lay that material whatever you excavated that there is no place to put it down so what you need to do obviously that material has to move wherever the place is there so to move that again you need a movement right for movement transportation vehicle is needed transportation vehicle when you will be accommodating when the place is not available for the excavated soil to dump at that moment transportation is needed next what is the type of the soil to be removed if the soil is rocky or hard soil what you will be doing depending on that strength or depending on the soil strength you are going to choose what is the material uh, equipment you required what <coughs> level of equipment you required whether it is a small equipment is enough or huge equipment you needed to dig that area okay and what is the duration of the project available suppose if you have only one day to do all those work if you have only one day or only certain limited period then again one or two extra equipments or machinery might be needed all these factors should be considered before selecting the equipment to the particular site okay so now classification of under factors affecting on selection of construction equipment you have learned some of some four or five points okay now under classification of equipments there are five points in this we are concentrating on earth moving equipments because for in this syllabus or earth moving equipments based on that only we have certain problems to solve in this module okay regarding that we are going to just concentrate what are the important earth moving equipment we should consider okay number one is power shovel earth move, i'll write it here number one power shovel which is available on the screen you can just go through the power importance of the power shovel is it is a long lasting it got enough or a time period with less maintenance we could say okay image it is coming on the screen you can go through and it suits with all types of earth except hard rock okay it suits to all types of earth except hard rock when hard rock is there it is not possible it is not going to work okay and next what are the different types available means there are basically two types one is wheel mounted another one is 
crawler mounted what is the difference between these two is in wheel mounted it will be high speed work can be carried out the speed of the work will be faster compared to crawler mounted because it is a very less speed because of the unstable soil condition and basic parts of this power shovel is you could see on the picture that is cable is there track system bottom foot pin boom point shave cabin to operate rack and stick saddle block and bucket to grab which will be carried in terms of volume okay and in this power shovel the cable controlled and it makes outward strokes just imagine the cable and the bucket how it is holding together while digging the cable controlled and it makes outward strokes okay and where all places it can be applicable is where close range of work is available very close range of work is available and very hard materials to be stored out big sized boulders is available at construction site at that moment you can just grab it and put it to the uh, movement vehicle digging in gravel banks clay pits cuts in road works that is road cutting works and roadside berms all these works this power shovel can be utilized the image is coming in the picture i mean screen and what are the factors factors controlling this production the production of power shovel can be controlled by the following uh, factors that is class of material that means to say what is the type of material available depending on that material the uh, <coughs> productivity will be depends okay and next angle of swing at at what angle you are trying to swing that particular thing at what angle it might be 45 degree 30 degree or 60 degree okay and what is the depth of cutting at up to what extent you are moving to cut the earth and finally what is the skill of the operator depending on the skill of the operator it could be possible much time Next, move on to the second type that is second type of earth moving equipment that is back hoe can consider back hoe back hoe also termed as hoe i hope you can see the picture which is coming on the screen you can see the picture and understand how the back hoe looks back hoe also termed as hoe back shovel and pull shovel will be there which is used to excavate below the surface of the equipment that means to say where the equipment is standing the level could be below that okay same level datum can be below the where the uh, equipment is stand and next uh, <clears throat> it caves into the ground as much as depth the maximum it can dig into the ground basic parts of this is boom boom foot drum i think you could see that in the picture and stick bucket jack boom boom sheave bucket sheave hope you are able to see that in the image and <coughs> similar to shovel except it makes inward strokes in the first one that is power shovel inward strokes was not there it was external stroke or outward stroke but here it is having inward strokes while digging the earth okay and the application of this back hoe could be digging below machine level like trenches footings basement or to dress the surface once digging is done the smooth surface has to be needed right so just to smoothen the surface or dress the surface back hoe can be used and the next one is drag line hope you could able to see the third image that is drag line the drag line is so named because of its prominent operation of 
digging or dragging the bucket against the material to be dug against the material to be dug unlike a shovel it has a long light crane boom you can see the long light crane boom which is able to see in the picture and the bucket is loosely attached to the boom through cables because of this construction a drag line can be dig and dump over larger distance than a previous one that is power shovel what power, power shovel can do greater distance than the power shovel can be done in this drag line okay also drag lines are useful for digging below its track level and handling softer materials harder materials or hard soil it is not going to come into the picture okay it doesn't work properly in the hard soil only for soft soil it is suitable and basic parts of drag line now observe in the picture basic parts are boom drag cable drag chain hoist cable hoist chain and again the final one is bucket and what are the applications dragging <coughs> of material and below its track level can be done very easily in this because of its length it is very useful for excavating trenches when the sites are permitted to establish their angle of repose without shortening and also because of its length we can easily say it has long reaches it could uh, go very long distance to excavate it okay the excavation for canals and depositing on the embankment without hauling units extra equipment is not needed it can directly get into the canal through its bucket and it can directly take out the extra debris which is present in the canal and the next one is clam shell the clam shell is named due to resemblance of its bucket to a clam which is like a shellfish with hinged double shell you just imagine the shellfish which hinged double shell okay the front end is essentially a crane boom with a specially designed bucket loosely attached at the end through cable as in the drag line the capacity of clam shell bucket is usually given in cubic meters the basic parts of clam shell bucket are you could see in the picture closing line hoist line sheaves brackets tag line shell and hinge and the basic applications of clam shell could be used for handling loose material such as crushed stone or sand gravel coal etc to take out these materials can be used this clam shell main features is vertically lifting of material from one location to another where the whole equipment cannot be go inside the water in that area where debris are formed this shell clam shell can get into the water and take the debris outside which is able to see in the picture right so mainly used for removing material from coffer dam or sewer main holes or sewer manholes well foundations etc such kind of unwanted things where it is deposited in that area it could easily remove without any labors let's stop the session here and we'll continue the next class okay thank you